I'm Austin Clark with Clark Mandolins and today I'm cutting dovetails for a few mandolins. I thought I'd really quickly show you uh, what I do with each one. It is a tapered compound dovetail. Uh, the pen of it tapers down to the bottom so the cut gets smaller. Um, this one I'm going to show, I'm going to jump, jump ahead a little bit. I already drew out the dovetail on this uh, head block here and cut it out cut it out using this uh, angled uh, holding device fixture. I cut one side of the dovetail with the mandolin clamped in this direction. As you can see from my notations, i got to have reminders. And then do the same thing on the other side. Kind of like that. I'm gonna come in, take it off of here cut the flat part it along the back. So that just goes straight up and down. So once I've done that, I take a piece of cardboard that goes from end to end, tape it to the head block in the bottom of the mandolin, turn it upside down and cut it, cut it out using a razor blade. This gives me a nice copied pattern to transfer to the neck. So this goes away. the neck, you can see I've taken the cardboard pattern and transferred it here, and uh, I've got a little fixture to hold the neck with pins that fit in the uh, truss rod slot to hold everything nice and straight and square, and I used the same wedge-shaped uh, device here to uh, register my cuts. There are also little pins on this and holes in the bottom of this that everything goes in straight each way. first cuts. So this one says I'm cutting the left side, so we're going to cut the left side. are done, I need to cut the, the cheeks of the dovetail, uh, the joint, that's these curved parts. Those go straight up and down, they mirror the shape of the mandolin body. Um, so we take it off the angled fixture, you can see we have a nice tapered pin there, and we're going to cut these. These I really try and cut just inside the line because most of my fitting goes on with adjusting these to fit the body, and as they fit the body, it drops down in the body. And if I have to fiddle with the angle a little bit to stay on the center line, I can also do that by fitting the cheeks. See, I'm staying just inside the line, just nicking my pencil line with the corner of the blade there. actually retain a small piece in the bottom. I then have to take them out. cleanup to do in there. Um, but now the next step is to cut the net to rough shape and fit it to the body. <laughs> 